Hi, it's Jen from Shabby Fabrics with a really fun project today using charm packs. These really cute coasters take just six five inch squares, making them perfect for using our charm squares. You know, sometimes I look at pre-cuts and think, what's a fun way to do this instead of putting that in a quilt? We did not come up with this. We've seen this out on the internet. So I certainly don't want to claim any uh, ownership to this. I just want to be able to share with you how fun and easy these are. They're quick. Um, we chose to use the Time for Hot Cocoa collection from Wilmington. I just thought this was such a cute one. And of course, with our red mug, you can just imagine the hot cocoa with the whipped cream, the cinnamon, and it's just such an adorable look, maybe around a black cafe table. I love that. As you can see on the set, this is a really fun collection. We did some coordinating pot holders out of the folded star hot pad, as well as the hanging towel. We've done videos on that as well. So if you haven't already subscribed, um, be sure to do that. Maybe you've already just uh, subscribed. Just jump over to watch how fun those are to put those projects together and how nice that this will now coordinate. So to make these, they couldn't be easier. You'll start off with uh, kind of choosing your groups of six of your five inch squares. And so I just grabbed uh, that. Here's an idea as well. When we start stacking these, in fact, I will, I will show you that um, in just a moment. I'm gonna give you an option so that you can actually use five squares out of your charm pack set and be able to use a piece of just muslin or something that um, is a more, you know, kind of a boring fabric, I guess I'd call that. Because inside of here, these all will be placed on top of a fabric you're never going to see. And so that's one thing I might want to suggest to you, but you do need to make sure that your center comes together real well. In case there's a gap, it is kind of nice to have a fabric from the collection poking out so everything coordinates. I just wanted to mention that. If you do that, that way using only five of your squares out of your charm pack, because the charm pack has 42 pieces, you'll be able to get eight of your little coasters out of that instead of seven if you are going to uh, be using six of those. Six times seven, of course, is, is 42 squares. You'd be using them all up. So I never know how many you need to make. I just wanted to throw that out as an option. So whether you choose six out of that or you choose five out of that and you choose just a plain piece of fabric and cut that to five however you want to do that you'll take your four that you know you want to have up here and you'll fold that fabric just in half and give it a good press you could add sizing if you wanted we didn't do that we didn't feel there was a need to do that and you're just going to go ahead and press those four and I've done that ahead of time, so let me bring those out. So now we have the four fabrics I want on top pressed. And then these are the two fabrics. I want this to be my background, and this will be that fabric that's in the center that everything is going to sit on top of, and it's kind of my insurance policy that maybe my little four patch doesn't come together perfect. I'm still seeing a fabric down there that I like. But... Um, Again, you can always choose the option of maybe even using maybe just a black solid if you want to do that. You'll also need a piece of batting to cut to the five inches. So we'll start off by layering uh, one piece uh, down, and that's the piece that's going to be on the inside here. That's not going to be your backing of your coaster. Follow it up with your batting. Your backing will come on next. Now, with our fabrics, we have our two raw edges and our fold. It doesn't matter what side you start on, the raw edges will come always to the outside with the folded edge to the middle. So I'll keep placing these, stacking them right on top of each other. And I want to have my reds be opposite of each other. So I'll place them like that. And for the last piece, we're not going to just place that on top. We have to lift this up so that that'll nestle and kind of create that little four patch there. Once you have that, 
you can either wonder clip that together. You could use your regular wonder clips, your mini wonder clips, or you could pin that however you want to clip that together. But we'll go sew a quarter inch all the way around that. You might want to stitch around twice, maybe shorten your stitch length because we're going to turn everything through. And before we do that, we'll clip our corners. I'm just going to put a few wonder clips in. You know, again, you could choose if you want to, so you don't have to remove. Of course, with wonder clips, I got to move those. Or you can use these longer clover. They're called clover fine pins. They're different than the patchwork pins you see me do uh, piecing with. They're longer, a little stronger. I really kind of like that because now I can leave them in place. Let's do a little bit of both. So let's head over to the sewing machine. We're going to sew a quarter of an inch. I am going to shorten my stitch length little bit. Start anywhere you want. Okay. Boy, these are so cute. Um, clip your corners. That's going to help. And now I'm, I'm already looking. I'm like, where's my point, Turner? <laughs> if you've watched any of our videos, you know if what I need to push out those corners. There is just not a tool that I grab for that I prefer more than the Clover point-to-point -point Turner. When I have you know, something that's curved, this is the end I use. Of course, I'll be using this today. And we're just going to turn that through just like that. These go together in no time. You know, it seems like everybody right now is changing houses, buying homes, selling homes, upgrading. Um, I, I'm always looking for, we all know we can go shop at Amazon and get all the things we possibly could need for a home or Target or wherever you love to shop for home goods and appliances and all those things. But there's nothing like a handmade gift to welcome someone to a new home. Um, and this is a great gift, practical too. So let's get into the corners. We're going to push those out with our point turner. And I'm, I've got my iron warming up. And just like that, there's this cute little four patch. coaster. So we'll give it a little steam here. And look how adorable that is. And really, and you realize they're actually reversible. Let's say you want the back side up. You just want the black today. That's one way to do that. Or if you love to see the four patch, there you go. So how fun to use charm packs in a way we've never used before. Um, I love this. And of course, we have a beautiful array of that. Hey, you might have noticed we have a new website. If you haven't been there in a while, jump over there. You can go look at fabrics and look by pre-cuts and you're able to jump over to the five inch um, charms. Here's another idea. If you take a 10 inch layer cake, you cut it in half, both vertically and horizontally. Do you realize that now gives you four full charm packs? So that's another way. Uh, maybe we're out of the charm pack you love, but we have a layer cake. So that's another option for you. So thanks for giving me part of your day of showing you how to make these really cute coasters made with charm packs. I'll see you soon in another Shabby Fabrics video.